Coach, what after two weeks, kind of assess the line play and, and what you've seen and what you guys need to improve on? Well, and I, I think, um, you know, I really like the maturity of the guys and how they, they have come out and, and prepared. So I was, I was talking to Makai uh, going into week one. I was like, you know, one thing about it is, like, I have no idea. We've, we as a group have never been through a game week. And so you just don't know how guys are going to prepare for it. Um, but I've been really impressed with how mature they've been and uh, going about their preparations. Um, you know, something that I always talk with those guys is the demeanor that I want up front with the old line and, and always working to get that. You're seeing it, but just being consistent with it. Um, you know, our footwork, fundamentals, that'll be stuff that we're going to continue to work on uh, every day. Um, and that'll be something that, you know, we'll continue to progress and progress. But, you know, the, the main thing I want to see those guys is playing fast, um, being physical and finishing plays. Coach, you talk about you didn't know what you would get out of those guys. Have you been surprised at all, but in particular, particularly in a game week with their preparation and how they prepared, kind of gone through those weeks? Yeah, like I was really, really impressed with how, um, how they were really into the game plan. And when we were on the field, um, you know, I'm still trying to get them to, to, to practice at the level as far as like how hard we've got to come out and strain every day and practice. So the first day we came out, it wasn't to, to the standard that we wanted, but the next day they came out, you saw a, a huge improvement. And so they want to do well, man. And that, that's, that's such a, a joy as a coach is when I, when I ask these guys or point out the things that they need to improve on, you see them trying to do that day in and day out. And so I've been really, really impressed with that, really pleased with it. Um, you know, and it's fun. Like, like, you know, we're just starting this whole, like throughout this whole, this is our first year together, these relationships that we're forming, the, the bond that we have. And so all of this is the expectations at practice, what all we're working on, it's all brand new for all of us as far as getting to know each other. And, but as they are learning, you're seeing a lot better practices. Guys are being a lot more crisp. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been really pleased with how the preparations have been going through the season. So many thought this line was kind of an unknown coming into the year. With that, you guys are first in the ACC in rushing top 15, I think, in the country. Is this what you thought they could put together so early in the season? You know, the, the thing is, like, we, t we try not to get called up in, like, you know, looking up and, and seeing where we are rankings wise or anything like that. It's really about, we talk about three things, speed off the ball, toughness and finish. And literally, and I, I talked to those guys, like when we walk out of this room, this is what the expectation is. You know, at the end of the year, we'll take a look back and kind of, but I just want them playing the style that I think a lineman needs to play at. And, and you know, doing that, I think that, obviously I think that we could be really good up front. And so, but to me, it's just getting that mindset and getting those, those three pillars that we always talk, you know, hammered home where they're, it's, it's second nature to them now. Are you getting that on a consistent basis that where you're, where you're happy about plays when you watch the film? We, we are. Um, we are. I think there were, there were times, I thought last week was a, a big challenge for this team. To, it was a, you know, a, a, a Monday night was, was, that was a, you know, open a night, the card from the card march to the atmosphere in uh, Cardinal Stadium. That was phenomenal. And, and just going through that game, and, and it was a physical game, and then having a quick turnaround where you're playing five days later. That's tough, man. That's tough on these kids. And um, I, was, I was really impressed with how quick they were able to kind of turn it around. And, um, you know, there were times when I thought that we were a little flat. Um, but they answered a call when we challenged them about that. And, and to me, that's you got kids that want to do well. And, and I think when you got that, that's, that's what you want as a coach and guys wanting to do what it is that you're asking them to do. How do you go about the rotation with TJ and Cole? And it seemed like they played even, maybe even snaps on, in Notre Dame and maybe TJ a little bit more on Saturday. Yeah, and I, I think – Typical of what I've been doing the last two weeks, and it's really just kind of see. It's kind of like you know when you're when you're going in there, that that center is kind of like the quarterback position. You know, sometimes when you're playing two quarterbacks, 
you'll say, all right, the first one will get two series, the second one will sit here and kind of watch those series, kind of see what's going on, listen to the adjustments we're making, and then he can go in and the other one can kind of come out and kind of see, and hopefully it can slow down a little bit for him. You know, and to me, that sixth, seventh lineman, it's not just having, like, that guy's got to play multiple positions. So you'll see that guy, whoever it is, he's going to play guard. He'll play some tackle. He'll play some center. And so that's, you know, that's that's the whole goal with that. You know, and the snaps with it, we're not trying to have a snap number. Um, what I've done the last couple of weeks is, you know, if it was a, a quick first series, we'd start rotating right away. If it wasn't, he uh, TJ would go two, then Cole would go in, and then it was like every other series or something like that. And I told them literally, I was like, you guys got to help control that. Because I'm going to be into the game, and but just understand, like, that's what we're trying to look to get to with the snaps and stuff with it. Is it one, – one of the TV guys said something about left and right handed. Is it any different having Cole or TJ in there for the quarterback? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so. You know, everything that we're doing is uh, gun snaps, and um, you know the way the ball's coming back there. I think it's the same from a, a right-handed uh, snapper to a left-handed snapper. Where, the depth-wise, do you feel like you're developing? I know. I think Renato got in. Yeah, Renato, Renato got in. Adonis Boone got in there, and uh, you know, I thought those guys went in there, and it was good to see them going and playing against another team, and I thought they competed well, and. Um, you know, both of those kids are, are they're, they're working hard and, and trying to, to be one of those guys for us. And, and I was I was impressed with what they went in and did um, in the game this past week. As far as an offense as a whole, just the, the running backs, you mentioned when we were in the stadium a couple of weeks ago, you were excited to see what those guys could do. And Javon Hassan have really shown out the first two weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's, we were excited when we got here in spring and we saw how those guys were running the ball. and. Um, all summer, just how they prepared in the weight room and also just the running they did and um, going through fall camp. I mean, it, they just kept getting better and better. And um, it, it's fun watching those guys go out and compete on Saturdays. Uh, they run hard. Um, they, they play behind their pads, and, and, and they bring a lot of energy to us offensively. During the season, you talked about depth. How do you build that depth during the season? It's easy to do it in the summer. But how do you do that when you're trying to get reps starting for all the starters during the season? Yeah, you know, it's 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 difficult. Um, what you try to do is uh, when time permits, because my, my whole thing is, is like, I'm on it, like whoever that sixth or seventh lineman is, to me, he's not a left tackle or a right tackle. He's got to be, that next best lineman's got to be able to play all of them. Because I want the ne next best lineman to be able to go in the game. And, and that next be best lineman may be better than our, backup left tackle. And so the versatility is what I try to do there in practice throughout the whole year to sprinkle them in, like whoever that sixth guy is, all right, I go to left tackle here, all right, go to right guard. And so that way now they're kind of getting a good knowledge of all the positions up front with it. Are you conscious of that going throughout the practices? Because, I mean, yeah. especially off the line, you guys are kind of not, not very deep on. So. Yeah, yeah, and, and we're not, and, and I am, you know, as far as like I, I'm, I'm – I'm, I write down on my script, all right, I need, I need um, Cole to go, go here at center. I need him to go to left guard this, this rep. I need him to play tackle this last series. You know, just so I can try, because I don't want it to be a surprise for them. I want them to feel comfortable and put them in situations where they can have confidence and, and to, to, to be where they feel like they can go out there and succeed. Dwayne, how big of a challenge is this week, the first road game? You guys coming off of a victory, but going on the road for the first time. What kind of a challenge is the week, and does Western Kentucky pose? Western Kentucky is a um, defensively. I mean, they 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 got a defensive end that's as as good as these guys that we played throughout the whole season. Um, number ten, he's he's he, he plays with a great motor. Um, he can get to the quarterback. Um, they they have some good safeties, but they're very sound. They're going to be where they needed to be. Um, they play fast, they play hard. But you know, just a typical, this is our first time that we've taken our team on the road. It's not the first time we've taken a trip. Um, now obviously, uh, here at home, we stay at our team hotel. So they got a little bit of the routine. And we'll try to keep that as, as much the same as it is as we're being home. And just try to keep them with that routine. But you know, playing in a new stadium, playing in, we're trying to, the football feels just the same. It's just like the one here at the Cardinal Stadium. And, um, 
you know, the expectation is to go out and play the way that, that we we are expected to play every time we step on the field. And uh, But, you know, as a coach, you're always sitting, kind of sitting back there and just, all right, is everybody going to be here on the bus? You know, is everybody going to find the meal room on time? You know, the making sure there aren't unnecessary distractions throughout the trip and stuff like that. So it, it's something that you always think about. Uh, but like I said, when we first started talking about this as a team, um, that, that first – that first night in the hotel when we went when we were playing Notre Dame, we were in the team hotel, and one of the first things I told Coach Sad is like, man, this is the guys are, are mature, like like they're focused, um, they're they're into it. Um, it. It's not where they're just there at the hotel trying to have a good time. They're this team is hungry, man. They they want to go out and play good football and win football games, and that's fun as a coach because you can see that like you're talking to, it's all attention, it's all eyes. All right, be here at this time. They're there, and so and it, it's it's that that's what you want. That's that culture that you want, and these guys have done a great job with it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.